A bank reconciliation statement is a statement prepared by the business to match the balance shown on the cash book and that on the bank statement. There are reasons to why there is a difference between the balance shown on the bank statement and that shown on the cash book. I will divide the reasons into items recorded in the cash book but not on the bank statement and items recorded on the bank statement but not in the cash book. Let's first look into items recorded in the cash book but not on the bank statement. Number one, they are outstanding deposits. These are checks or cash received by the business but has not yet been recorded on the bank statement. To identify outstanding deposits, they are recorded on the debit side of the cash book but are not recorded on the bank statement. Number two is unpresented checks. These are checks that the business has issued but the bank has not processed the payments. To identify these, they are recorded on the credit side of the cash book but are not recorded on the bank statement. There are items that are recorded on the bank statement but not in the cash book. The first one is bank charges. Bank charges are the fees that the bank charges to customers for services provided. There is also interest income. The business receives income from the bank for depositing money into the bank account. Let's dive straight into an example of how to prepare the bank reconciliation statement and I will show you the procedure step by step. Company EFG had the following records in the cash book and on the bank statement. This is the cash book and this is the bank statement. The first step is to compare the details on the bank statement and those on the cash book. The balance brought down from the previous month is the same for both the bank statement and cash book. On the bank statement, it shows a payment made by J. Johnson and the cash book also shows the same transaction. On the bank statement, it shows that a check was issued to C. Brown by the business. This is also shown on the credit side of the cash book. The bank statement also shows that the bank issued a check to S. Tan. The same transaction is shown on the credit side of the cash book. The bank statement shows that a check was received by A. Lang. The cash book also shows that the business received a payment from A. Lang. So far, we have identified the transactions that appear on both the bank statement and cash book. However, these transactions highlighted in orange only appear on the bank statement but are not recorded in the cash book. On the other hand, the transactions highlighted in green show the transactions recorded in the cash book but not recorded on the bank statement. To record the items that are shown on the bank statement but not in the cash book, an updated cash book is drawn up. We first enter the balance brought down, which is shown in the cash book that is not updated. The next transaction to enter is the credit transfer from J. Benson. You might be wondering which side of the updated cash book this transaction will go to. A simple tip would be that the items on the credit side of the bank statement will be shown on the debit side of the cash book. This is because when money is deposited into the bank, this money does not belong to the bank. The bank is just keeping the money for you. In this case, this transaction is recorded on the credit side of the bank statement. Therefore, in the updated cash book, this transaction goes on the debit side. The next transaction is the bank charges. On the bank statement, the amount for bank charges is on the debit side. 
This means in the updated cash book, the bank charges go to the credit side. It is important to note that bank charges are charged by the bank and bank charges are an expense for the business. All these transactions that had been on the bank statement only have now been updated into the cash book. Now we can balance the updated cash book. The balance carried down is 3,483. The next step is to create a bank reconciliation statement. But before that, let's look back at the cash book. There are some items that were recorded in the cash book but not on the bank statement. And these are highlighted in green. The items shown on the debit side of the cash book are outstanding deposits. This is because there are payments made by debtors but the payments have not been reflected in the business's bank account. The one item shown on the credit side of the cash book is an unpresented check because a payment has been made to the creditor but the payment has not yet been processed by the bank. Now let us create the bank reconciliation statement. The first step is to enter the balance as per the updated cash book. The next step is to add unpresented checks. Looking back at our cash book, there was only one unpresented check with an amount of 209. The only reason why the unpresented check is being added is because if this transaction was to be recorded in the bank statement, it would have increased the balance on the bank statement. Now we add these two to get 3,692. The next step is to subtract outstanding deposits. Based on our cash book, the total of the outstanding deposits is 319 plus 246, which gives 565. In the bank reconciliation statement, the outstanding deposits are subtracted. The reason for this is because if these two transactions were to be entered into the bank statement, they would be entered on the credit column of the bank statement and they would reduce the balance on the bank statement. After subtraction, we get the balance as per bank statement. Note how the balance here is the same as the one shown on the bank statement. And that's it for this tutorial.